Hello, hello. Welcome to Share and Be Making Stuff. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys two organizational DIYs that you can do for your room. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I love anything with dual functionality because uh, number one, it just looks super cute as room decor. And number two, it serves a purpose and it just keeps things organized. So let's go ahead and get started with our first project. So for this message board slash wall organizer, you're going to need either a cork board or an old whiteboard. Maybe Maybe it's not working very well anymore and you don't know what to do with it. So the next thing you're going to need is some chalkboard contact paper. I got sent mine by a company called Versa Chalk and they were nice enough to send me all the chalk related items in this video. They are definitely very high quality products and they get the job done. So I'll have a link to their website in the description box below so you guys can go check them out. You're also going to need a flat headed paintbrush. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife, some rubbing alcohol and paper towel, some acrylic paint, some masking tape, and lastly a ruler. Alrighty, so let's begin with the corkboard side. You're going to take some masking tape and tape off the section that you want to paint. I decided to go with two triangles, so I'm just making sure that it lines up with the edges and the corners. And you're also going to tape off the border because you don't want to get any paint on that. After I have taped off my desired section on the corkboard, I'm just going in with some white acrylic paint and painting that in the triangle. And just make sure you have a nice even coating on there. You don't want to saturate it with too much paint at first just because we do want to go back in and do a second layer. So once the first layer of paint is done and dried, go ahead and paint on a second layer. I really needed a second layer for mine just because I had writing on the bottom of mine and I didn't want it to show through. But if you don't have writing and you don't really care for a second layer, then you can totally skip this step. And once you are done painting and the paint is still wet, go ahead and gently peel off the tape. And now we just let that section dry. So once your first section has dried, go ahead and tape off your second section that you want to paint. I'm just doing another triangle here, making sure that the edges and corners are lined up once again. And yes, it's okay to tape over the section that you just painted as long as the paint is dry. So you guys know the drill. Once you have taped off your section, just go ahead and start painting away. Hold on. Wait, what is that? An exposed border I see? Sharon, what are you doing, girl? You're getting paint everywhere you don't even know. Oh, okay, now you're fixing it. Yeah, thank you. You're doing it right now. Okay, now you can continue your painting. So for my second color, I did two layers once again. The first layer is basically just a bronze mixed with a white. And the second layer I'm doing now is just the bronze itself. And I wanted to prime it just because the color of the bronze and the cork are so similar. I needed the color to pop a little bit more. And once you are done painting and the paint is still wet, go ahead and gently peel off the tape. So moving on to the chalkboard transformation, I'm starting out with my dirty old whiteboard here. I'm just cleaning everything off first with some rubbing alcohol so I don't have any residue left behind from like the dry erase markers and making sure that my contact paper is going to stick on nice and bump free when I apply it. So with applying any type of contact paper, it's always very important to remember to work in very small sections at a time, especially if you have a greater surface area, make sure that you're peeling off the backing as you go. Because what happens if you peel off the whole thing at once, you're going to get it stuck everywhere and you're going to be left with a big bumpy mess. So I'm just starting off with one corner right now and as for the air bubbles, I'm just using my hands to smooth them out just like this. And you can also use other blunt objects. Don't use anything too sharp. Use your judgment because you don't want to puncture the contact paper. And just another heads up, when you're applying contact paper, try not to stretch it out too much so you don't end up with weird creases or stretch marks. 
So once you are done applying your chalkboard contact paper to your whiteboard, go ahead and just run your finger or a ruler along the edges to make sure that it's really stuck on there. And then you can take your X-Acto knife and slice off any of the excess. So moving on to our next project, for this Polaroid display, you're going to need a mini chalkboard, or in this case, I'm using a wooden frame slate board from VersaChalk. You're also going to need some Polaroids, of course, and some washi tape of your choice, a pair of scissors, and lastly, some chalkboard markers, or you can just use chalk. So this one is fairly simple. You're just going to arrange the Polaroids however you want them to be displayed. And once you're happy with the arrangement, go ahead and cut strips of washi tape to the same length of the Polaroid and just tape them down. And make sure that you're leaving a little bit of space at the top so you have some room to write a little something something if you want or decorate it however you want. So once all your Polaroids are securely taped down, you can go ahead and write a little message at the top to finish it off. And the cool thing about this chalkboard is that it is double-sided, so you can do the same thing to the other side, and then you could just flip it over whenever you want to change it up. And just a fun little idea, if you guys want, you could also write like little messages when you flip over the Polaroids and stuff, so when you share it with like your friends or family, it'll just be a fun way to share memories. But yeah, I just thought it was a cool idea. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And also leave a comment below telling me if you guys want to see more of these DIYs for organizing your room or even what other kind of videos you guys want to see from me. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Share and Be Making Stuff. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!